Hi there, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, to start off with, please forgive the sound in the background. That's my plotter printing off another set of plans. Um, but today's tip is uh, we're back in Chief Architect version X9, uh, Premier X9 on my Mac uh, desktop. I have a uh, set of casement windows that um, I measured across the whole uh, unit as eight foot three and a quarter. And since there's four of them and Chief doesn't have a fourplex um, unit, it's got triple casements, but not the four unit. Um, I, I've got a couple of things I wanted to show you how to easily and quickly get this at eight foot three and a quarter um, dimension that we measured in the field. First of all, uh, when I select them, uh, the way my template is set up anyway, I've got two inches between window units. Um, so when I select the window and try to move it, it stays, these are, these are m at the minimum of two inches apart. So I need to double click on my window tool here. And I'm just going to change this minimum separation to zero and click enter. From here, I can click on the window and change this to the eight foot three and a quarter inches. But now what's the what's this um, equal spacing between all three? I honestly don't have to figure it out. I'm going to select all four windows by shift clicking. I could have just uh, gone in my window mode and shift drag across here. Oh yes, I'm in the uh, select contained objects uh, option here. So I'm going to select intersected objects and shift drag. Now you can see on the lower left hand corner of my screen I've got four objects currently selected which is what we want here. And then I'm going to choose this child tool down here, align distribute objects. We're going to move objects horizontally and we're going to space them evenly. Click OK. The two ends remain where the two end units remain where they're supposed to be, at so they're eight and three, eight foot three and a quarter apart, and you'll find that Chief just calculates what that equal distance is supposed to be. So from here, all I have to do is select and mold them together, and I've got my single unit exactly where the size and and uh, spacing that it needs to be. So, uh, hey, this has been a very short and quick tip. I hope it's helpful. Um, I've been using this space evenly uh, thing with many different options with lighting, windows, um, doing um, pier footings, where those centers are supposed to be, etc. It's been really, really helpful um, and speeds up my my workflow process with that. Hope it's been helpful to you. If there's anything that um, you would like to see on a, on a Tech Tip Tuesday coming up, leave a comment below and let me know. If this has been helpful to you uh, or interesting, uh, please uh, leave encouragement. Give me a thumbs up. Always appreciate those. As always, have a great week.